G'day guys, and welcome to G-Man Specs. Today, we're gonna to take a look at a video called Single Mum Issues That Keep High Value Men Away. And this is done by a YouTuber called Your Wing Ma'am. Um, so the whole point of this video is mostly aimed at women from this lady um, to try and let single mothers know what things are gonna put them off, especially when they're chasing you know, a high value guy, what's gonna put that high value guy off when they are a single mum. So without further ado, let's jump in. Um, I'll stop here and there and give you my thoughts. Okay, so dating single mothers is a contentious topic that often triggers strong emotions in men and women. However, for the sake of the children, single mom issues that keep high value men away must be discussed. So. Whether you're a single man or a single mom, this video will reveal the real challenges men face when dating single mothers so you can make informed choices in your dating life. Men can decide if it's worth it to date a single mother or if it's better to bow out and let someone more suited to stepdadhood step in the role. Yeah, how about, yeah, that's fine. Let's take option two. <laughs> but yeah, I think, I know single mums do get a really hard rap, especially in you know similar content creators as myself. I'm not all about all single mums are bad. So the only single mum, the single mums that I bag the shit out of, they're yeah, plenty of fish single mums, the ratchet ones, you know, um, sitting at home, having guys run through the house while the little kids are locked up in the bedroom or whatever, in the next room, you know, uh, trying to sleep while she's getting absolutely railed out. I know, look, things happen in life, relationships break down, uh, partners, some partners pass away, all that sort of stuff. doesn't make because they're single to be horrible, but they do have a lot of behaviors, um, especially the, the ones that have left a husband. They do show a lot of behaviors that are very off-putting and a huge warning signs to men. So I think while there are some really nice ladies out there that are unfortunately are a single mother, um, they're going to find out just how hard that is based on the actions of the broader population of single mothers because they do give these women do give them a bad name and rightly so women will understand men's concerns and save yourselves and your child the emotional turmoil of being with a man not suited for stepfatherhood if you're new to my channel my name is anna jorgensen i help men decode modern women so you can find attract and keep your keeper or simply have better relationships with women. Welcome to Just The Tip. First, what is high value man? Well, for the purpose of my videos, a high value mate, man or woman, is someone with the most desirable mate qualities, whatever they may be for you. There are already comments from men who haven't watched the video yet saying, don't do it. However, there are five. Uh, I think there are gonna be comments in this video that I'm making guys based on Based on, look, once you watch this video, I watched about half of it, guys. It's basically a biggest red flag ever. Um, it's a woman who maybe might, maybe herself, might be a, a single mum dating coach trying to sort of advocate um, for a certain kind of man to step up to be a stepfather. Uh, as we know, a lot of the time, guys, that doesn't end well for the guy for many different reasons, and she's going to touch on them uh, in the video. But once again, I do find it laughable that there are dating coaches that are women um, trying to coach men because women don't understand men. Um, and I don't think they really truly understand themselves. They say one thing and do another, as we all know, guys. So I thought this was going to be really good for a bit of a laugh and a bit of a look into the, uh, the female mind, right? So I'll jump in. Five reasons some men do dates or marry single moms, and I'll share that later. But in the meantime, can you guess what they are? Comment. So while you are racking your noggins on that, let's review some of the single mom issues that keep high value men away. One, divided attention. If she's worth her weight in salt, a mom prioritizes her dependent kids. However, that can be a deal breaker for high value men because for him, it means limited time and attention for the relationship. Single moms must realize some high value men prefer a more flexible lifestyle without the added obligations of parenting someone else's children. Ex a shocking, isn't it? But like a lot of these men who are high value men, they, they may have made sacrifices in their life, which they're happy with, but not having wives, not having kids. So they can't, a lot of these single moms can't understand why that they are just seen as a walking liability for a man who has made those choices to become what they're looking for, being the high value guy. Because if they would have done those things, they wouldn't be him. So he's actively avoiding it. 
Uh. Example, a man wants to spend time with his lady, but she has to attend a bunch of school functions or other kid-related activities or unexpected trips to the ER. Gentlemen, if this is not exactly the carefree dating life or life you're envisioning, you may not be cut out to date a single mom. Ladies, the higher a man's universal desirability, the more options he has, yep. including women without children, you need to be able to schedule time to make him your priority sometimes and never take for granted anything he directly or indirectly does for your kids. He's there because of you, not them. Two, unruly kids. Exactly right. But the thing is with single mothers, especially when they're wanting a dude who may not have kids himself, they can't understand how a man's brain thinks. So he's saying, she said, don't take anything for granted that a man directly or indirectly does uh, for the children. I, as a man without children, cannot fathom doing anything directly or indirectly that would be to the benefit um, of another man's children. I, do, I just I just cannot see the case for that. All right? I know people say, oh, you know, they want to be a nice guy and all this sort of stuff. And I get it, the nice little kids there completely independent of it. But guys who have options with women this is why they don't pick single mums because the reality is you become an instant dad right because the reality is while they're not going to inject you into the child's life straight away at some point two three four months in whatever it is they're going to want to start to integrate you and you become an instant parent when you've gone your whole life without being a parent on purpose you got to parent someone else's kids i i, I just can't understand why single guys do it i can understand why some men who already have children do it because it is a bit hypocritical if you have two kids or whatever of your own as a man to say you don't want to date a woman with kids or, or, or say that they're bad because you're in that same position. You're just a man, right? That's the reality of it. I know guys will say, oh, you never date single mums ever. Yeah, you got to be careful. I mean, there are so many risks, blended families and all that that blow up. It's just so much at stake, guys. It's kids with no discipline. We've all heard the wee squealers in the grocery store. Some of us have even whispered, Taser! The fact is, bratty kids are a turnoff, even if they're yours. But when they're not, it can feel intolerable. When children's parents break up, or if there were never two parents at home to begin with, kids may seek attention however they can get it and may resort to bad behavior yeah. if mom and dad is too busy, stressed, or absent to pay attention to good behavior. My sister was a foster mom for over 30 years to the highest level of kids in the system. They weren't her own kids. Example. After a string of negative remarks on a teen's behavior in his evaluation report, he finally receives a minor acknowledgement of improvement in the next one. Mom doesn't notice because she's being extra busy dating you. The kid resents you stealing the attention he craves from his mom. And when you show up to pick her up for a date and ask how he's doing, he's sullen and mumbles something rude and stomps out slamming the door to his room. You can't do a darn thing about it. You can see why in his book, When Men Behave Badly, David Buss notes that stepkids are up to 100 times more likely to die from abuse than children in biological two-parent households. Gentlemen, if you don't want the stress and conflict that comes with someone else's unruly children who don't respect you, think twice before dating a single mom. Who, who would actually want that? I can't see any guy saying, yeah, I want stress and anxiety or whatever comes with that and all the bullshit and cost and all these things that happen. Like, what guy actually signs up for this? I'm astounded. I know there are plenty. I've got mates who are out in the dating scene um, and they're dating single mums. And I personally, I'd rather not have anybody than, than have a single mum and be a dad to somebody else's child or be, be, be perceived to being involved with somebody else's kids. I just cannot... I cannot fathom it, guys, but that's maybe my personality, right? Um, and I'm not having a go at people who do it, but I, I, I just can't understand because it's a huge risk, a huge investment. That thing goes belly up, right? You put up with all this bullshit, right? All this adversarial behavior from kids who don't want you there, they don't like you because they know you're digging mum's guts out in the VN somewhere. They don't want nothing to do with you. It, go, it blows up. It goes pear shape. Uh, and what do you get? You get... Uh, excommunicado from those kids and, and say you'll get even getting along with those kids excommunicado you can't see him again and you shouldn't have a right to see him again because they're not yours right but that 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 hurts people um and i just can't see once again i can't see why you would invest so heavily and get emotionally involved with kids that are not your own um ladies know that when a man is limited in his ability to provide healthy masculine discipline because you won't allow it he will think twice three 
special needs children. Sometimes even the sweetest child can require extra energy and attention because they have physical or mental challenges. No matter how empathetic a man may feel toward mother or child, parenting a special needs kid adds layers of yeah. responsibility and care, sometimes forever after. Example, my mom was a caregiver for live-in adults with high-level developmental difficulties. That's probably part of why, hi, I have a quirky sense of humor. My dad died, my mom was single for a long time, but when she eventually met a man she considered dating, she invited him to our home a lot so he could experience firsthand what her life taking care of special needs adults was actually like. Gentlemen, if a single mom has a special needs child of any age, parenting that child may be a lifelong endeavor requiring a lot of love and patience. Ladies, don't hide your special needs child from a potential suitor or downplay the responsibilities or emotional toil that can take sometimes. You're better to find out sooner than later if he's up for it or not. Uh, I can't see any man once again putting his hand up. Um... To volunteer for that position. I mean, it just seems like a lot of work, a lot of stress for a child, even if it is special needs, that's not yours once again. It makes it even worse. And you've got to feel for women who do have special needs children or even single fathers who have special needs children. That would make a that would make a pretty huge stress on trying to meet anybody else because you your 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 time and, and, and attentiveness need to be on those children. And so that's gonna be a turn off to somebody else because it's just a high lot of effort that you know that, that they don't want to expend um male or female yeah like she's not making a good case for it guys i think we're on four time constraints single moms have packed schedules thanks to parenting and work and if she's not working and financially independent there are other considerations example trying to plan a weekend getaway but getting delayed because she's tied up with kids activities and a 60 hour work week because there's no child support Gentlemen, if you see the inevitable time constraints and potential lack of quality time being alone with a single mom as a roadblock, know that it's not going to get easier unless you both agree to cut back on other time consuming activities like career or sleep. Not good. Ladies, you know how tough it is juggling so many responsibilities, many of which involve your kids. If you want a man to join you in taking on some of the, your to-do lists, make sure you're giving back way more than a woman without children would be because that's his other option. Five. That's some good advice, I think, at the end there. But once again, why, why would you do that? Why would you cut back on your career or make sacrifices like that to have more time to help a single mum with her kids? I, don't, I just can't see why you do it. I know I'm going to have guys who've done it. I've had a few guys in my comments on my other single mum videos where I talk about those ratchet, you know, plenty of fish slurries. I'm not saying all single mums are plenty of fish slurries, all right? What I'm saying is though there is a lot, there isn't a huge case for a single man, a single man with options to get involved with them. And a lot of men do. That's the thing. So this video is saying this is what you're in for single men. I don't care if you're 20, 40, 60, uh, you're single and you don't have kids and you're getting involved with women with kids. Like it's, I just can't see, see it being a good deal. Well, you know, it's just watching this video just further instills that in me. And it's not me being a prick or anything like that. It's just common sense. If limited social life. Being a single parent often means a limited social life or socializing with other parents and their children. Gone are the carefree days of hopping out to the pub with friends or catching a concert last minute. Your childless friends can only handle so much parent talk and joyous laughter of little ones. Life is different when you have kids. Example, welcome to a world of noisy play dates and backyard jumping gyms with squealing squealers, youthful exuberance. This is that sounds fucking shit, doesn't it? Your new Saturday night life. Gentlemen, awesome. if you prefer a woman who can spontaneously join you in a carefree social activity and blend into your social world, a single mom is probably not your best bet. Ladies, <laughs> if she? you're always tied up with your kids, it can feel like a barrier to a dynamic relationship for some men. Choose wisely and don't try to convert wildly. Six, 
financial independence or rather dependence. This one is major for most men without children. Most men do not want to rear another man's child or pay for it. Example, you're financially independent and getting close to retirement or maybe in retirement with a fixed income and meet a single hardworking mom with great kids and no dad in the picture. Maybe he died like mine did. Mom is working round the clock to make a good life for her kids, but that doesn't leave a lot of time for you. Do you chip in financially so she can work less and spend more time with you? Only you can decide that. For the sake of their kids, good single moms need financial stability in a man. Gentlemen, a single mom's financial strain or reliance on child support can be a red flag if you have other dating options. Late More or less she's saying, pick up a scrap if you can't get any other chicks. Like that's just the reality of it. As brutal and as direct as that sounds, guys, any guy who doesn't have kids and gets with a woman who has kids and all these responsibilities you're going to have to take on. The only reason why you're doing that is because you cannot get a woman without kids, right? That That's it. Why else would you do that? It, it would be strange unless you're a rock spider or something, all right? Unless you're a, yeah, I'm not going to say the word, but you guys know what I'm getting at, right? Why would you do it? I, I just don't get it, right? It, 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 once again, I do feel, and I've been... I do feel for women, especially um, who may have had really healthy relationships with their partners and the husband's passed away, you know, it sucks. Like, that sucks. It doesn't make her a bad woman, but they still fall into the same bucket as a normal single mom. It's, yeah, it's all that stuff that comes along with them, even though they're a lovely woman and maybe they were really great to the husband. You're still getting the same deal. You know, you're still getting the same deal. 80s. If you're looking for a man who can pull his weight financially or add financial value to your household, offer something extra he can't get elsewhere. Seven, I think, emotional baggage. If the father of her child died honorably mm. or accidentally, there will still be emotional baggage. And if the father didn't die, there will be even more because most emotionally healthy single moms feel some level of guilt about sending their kid's dad packing or if he left never seen that in my life i've never once heard a woman say to me oh, i got rid of my husband or father of my kids i am actually um guilty about that i've never had one say it to me ever he's always been an asshole narcissist abusive controlling alcoholic uh, whatever whatever bad thing they can think of or, or to frame um and exaggerate um, that's what I've heard. I haven't heard, you know what, I stuffed up, I had an affair, I did this or that, or I was emotionally unstable and just wrecked everything and the guy couldn't deal with me anymore or whatever. You've never heard that. Every guy in the world is horrible, right? I've never once heard a woman say, I am a cannibal. For, even, even if they weren't married, even if they didn't have kids, I've never heard it, let alone a single mother. It's always, they're always a victim. They're always a battler. You know, it's always a story in the news. Oh, poor single mum can't pay her rent. Poor single mum this, poor single mum that. Left himself. However, if she's not emotionally stable, that's even worse because there's going to be drama on the horizon. Example, you're dating a woman who lets her ex change weekend custody plans last minute, leaving your plans to fall by the wayside. When you try to discuss it, she bursts into tears, calling you selfish and suggests breaking up one more time. Gentlemen, if you want a woman who's mostly healed, because we all, we all have wounds, and ready for a stable relationship, not one grappling with past demons, make sure she's dealt with the issues surrounding her being a single mom. Ladies, Good men have good options. Make sure you're one of them yeah. by dealing with any of your unresolved issues from past relationships and breakups. All right, I think we're on eight. Baby daddy drama. If baby daddy is in the picture, there can be ongoing drama and added stress. Baby daddy might fight for custody, leading to unwanted illegal costs and court cases, or he may want to get back with his baby mama, creating a toxic dynamic between you and the mother example you meet a single mom still bitter from a nasty divorce who punishes her ex by randomly withholding child custody when you point out okay i'm just going to say one thing that, that is most of them every single chick i ever came across that was a single mom on a dating app or something like that we're literally doing that and guys somehow i think it's a good idea to get involved with them child free or not child free like, I, I cannot see how a guy can see a woman acting 
uh, so bad towards a man, a mother of, uh, sorry, the father of the children and someone they might have been married to or in a long-term relationship with and just treating him so horribly and thinking that it's not going to happen to them or she's different now or whatever. You're seeing the worst of the worst straight up. <laughs> I can't say, I can't understand why guys do it. I, I just don't get it. Like you, no risk management system. I, I, I used to, I fell for it once. I fell for it once. I dated a single mum for about a week. No, two weeks. When I say dated, I was chopping her out, guys. I wasn't taking her out anywhere. I didn't take it in via a coffee, I don't think. But she was mental. She turned to be mental. And yeah, I'm going to happy to elaborate it on another story, guys. I don't want to sidetrack this. But a lot of them are just, especially when if they're, if they're freshly separated, divorced, whatever it is, and they're fighting a dude, like you're going to see the absolute mental behavior and hear about it firsthand and then somehow they think by telling you that it's a marketing thing and and, and that you're going to take it on i don't know guys uh so far she's good tips for the women i guess but it really just highlights how much in most times you're not getting out of it i'm not saying or as i said i keep i keep doing that because i don't believe i truly don't believe that all single mums are ratchet like in slurries right a lot of them are but most of these advice that she's giving, any ratchet slurry is not going to take it and keep doing what they're doing or they act even worse because there's always a line of dickheads out there. But how unhealthy that is for the children and inconvenient for the both of you, she has an emotional outburst saying, you can't understand, you don't have kids. Gentlemen, stress with her ex is something you must consider if she's a single mom with her kid's dad in the picture. Ladies, high value men don't want to get dragged into conflicts with your ex. I think anyone does. That maximally. <laughs> Nine, trust issues. On the other hand, if the relationship with her ex is amicable, there could be concerns about her having an affair with her children's father. Jesus. Example. For the sake of the children, they still have family dinners together, but you're not invited. You notice she communicates with him pretty regularly about personal matters and her problems that don't involve the kids and avoids sharing the details with you. Or you may wonder if the ex is getting sex in exchange for child support. Gentlemen, when it comes to trust, everyone has their own bag of issues, but single moms have extra baggage she shares with her children's father or fathers. Ladies, trust is key and the possibility of romantic or financial entanglement with your ex creates insecurity and uncertainty. You can't build a stable trusting partnership when there's a reason for his fears of betrayal. Make him feel safe. Now, some of you are saying, um, Anna, why on earth would any highly desirable man sign up for a single mom yeah. when he has so many other options? Well, first they of all, wouldn't. supply and demand. Even if he is in high demand, the supply where he lives may be limited and he may not feeling like shopping out of town. Just before I share the other reasons why some men, some men, choose to date single moms. If you have found value in this video, please give it a like and consider subscribing. Thank you if you have. All right, so now, why do some men consider dating single moms? Well, one, higher mate value minus the kids. If she's way hotter than him or would have a higher mate value by whatever metric he deems important if she doesn't have kids. Example, all things being equal, he's a six in the looks department and she's a nine. Two, low status. No, 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 so I actually, uh... I'll make a point around this. Every time I went on a dating app and I matched with a super really good looking chick and they were keen to meet up or whatever, and then I've realized I've got kids. They've gone from a nine to a zero. Like it's just all attraction, all interest in that woman disappeared instantly. Like I can't see how that's a thing for men. Maybe some men might go purely on looks um, and the external. Once I noticed a woman had a child, I don't know what it was. It's got to be some sort of thing in the genetics, right? In our genes as men, it's tainted. We're territorial. Well, at the moment, they got a kid. It's like, ugh. Like, it's stained. Like, I just couldn't... Even It doesn't matter how hot she was. So I don't really truly agree with that. When I say higher mate, mate value, I think it, there are guys who don't... He might not have luck with women, right? And then all of a sudden, a woman who normally who wouldn't have kids... Right, would never look at him, but now she's looking at him because she's got kids, and then she's got to go down, and then he feels like he's going up, and that's how dickheads get sucked into it. The Black Widows, boys, I call them the Blue Ring Octopuses. You guys have heard that, where I say they've got the tats, or they've got some sort of makeup, or earrings and shit on there, and it and just shows that they're destructive, and that they're going to bloody eat you alive. 
Oh no, G Man, it won't happen to me. Yeah, okay. I'll see you back here soon if you do that. If he's low status by his cultural or societal standards, whether because of his income, job, looks, prestige, or whatever, he may not feel able to attract a woman if he finds attractive unless she already has kids. Example. Example, she's on discount, right? So that's exactly what I was saying. Single mums uh, or, or women with kids like to try and argue or get upset that men aren't looking at them in the same vein of attractiveness, right? Or pros and prospective partnership as a woman without kids. Like, they can't understand why. Like, like you blatantly um, have lowered your own value and status like through the floor by having a kid. I'm not saying that you did that on purpose, okay? But me as a man, this is what I look at, right? This is what I look at. A single mum. How did you become a single mum, okay? The, 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 a lot of the time, not all of them, a lot of the time women divorce husbands, right? A lot of women think uh, that they're going to get a better deal out there. And so they've gone and divorced the husband, left the husband straight on dating apps. So they're out banging all these dudes, you know, with Phil Donahue on the radio, or on TV, all over the couch, fucking cheeks spread wide open, getting absolutely gaped while the son's little Johnny's sleeping in the next room with his Nintendo Switch, playing Legend of Zelda or whatever he's doing. And... They never, ever understand that that's the value they're going to have. Becoming a human fleshlight, as I say. A human SEX toy. You get those types. The ones who have left a guy thinking they're going to meet somebody. And then you and then you go and look at them. And they tell you, yeah, they left the husband for whatever reason. Um, yada, yada, yada. And obviously, inside, you have an internal risk management, right? You go, oh, that doesn't sound good. That's going to be me. She's already torched the dude and rinsed him through family court, who she was married to and had a kids with. She did that without thinking about it too hardly. Um, I think I'm going to be next on the chopping block. I don't know why guys don't see this. Like I, I, I have friends I know in real life who go and date single mums, and I tell them this sort of stuff, and they can't understand why I think this way. It's like, are you not just looking at what's happened in the past and looking at past behaviors and saying, hey, pretty pretty big chance she's going to get me too. Like, don't know, guys, don't know. A guy working a minimum wage job might find single moms are the only women who give him the time of day. So he focuses his efforts there. Three, low self-esteem. A man with his own unresolved baggage who believes he's lower status, even if false, may not think he can attract someone without kids. True. For example, he grew up with a narcissistic mother who belittled him and a spineless father who didn't object to her callous treatment. The son grows up believing he's worthless. And when a seemingly kind single mom gives him the green light, he jumps at the chance feeling lucky. Older man market. <laughs> Maybe he's at an age when many available single women have children. For a man in his 20s, plenty of women don't have children yet. But if he's in his 60s or 50s or 70s, many women will have kids, possibly grandchildren. Example, a 50... Uh, even guys, I get 50, 60, 70 or whatever, and I'm a single man, I'm not shacking up with women with kids because essentially all that woman wants is a superannuation plan. They want your bloody uh, you know, death insurance or whatever it is. They <laughs> Life insurance, right? They... <sighs> They're not looking for love, guys. And they might be, maybe at the start, but they're, they're looking to get um, set up because they've made bad decisions in their lives, um, probably living week to week, probably have debt, and they want to get a guy who has a few dollars to rub together, so to speak, uh, and drain him. Now, whether they'd say that explicitly or not, that's just human nature. They get, they're going to want to get their claws in. All right? You've got to be careful, very, very careful. Because a lot of guys do do that. They're 50, 60, whatever. And then they, they uh, go, oh, maybe it would be nice to do, have a buddy and instant family and be involved and go to lunches and family dinners and all that sort of bullshit. Not knowing that they're on the chopping block, that you're a mark, guys. And you go, go oh, you're really negative. A lot of women are hunting people. Not, I didn't say all women, guys. But what I'm saying is that happens and it happens quite frequently. And if you get involved with single mums, you go maybe shack up with them. You get stuck on a de facto lord, you might marry one. You're screwed, mate. You are screwed. So you need to be super careful. Dangerous. Five-year-old man might find most women his age have grown kids, but even though the kids are independent and don't affect the relationship very much, he's attracted to younger women, many of whom do have dependent children. He has his own children. Some men who already have children of their own or grandchildren and share custody of them with a mother don't mind dating a mom or a single mom with children as well example a divorce dad okay he cares right but uh, i'm gonna stop it there guys but 
I'll give you my my views on dating single mums. So when I say dating, dating is just banging them. Like you're not getting involved. You're not moving in. You're not doing anything serious. You're not letting her move things into your house. You're not going down to the bank and buying a house together. Guys, if you want to go and do that, no problem. Some of them, are, they're low-hanging fruit. You can do the Bricey treatment and tell them sweet nothings into their ears and make them think you're going to lock down with them and string them along for a bit. No problem, you know. Do that. Do a steve -o. Just lie. Tell them you want to be the father of their kids. You know, you want to you want to look after them and be the, the, the dad that stepped up or whatever. You know, you want to be that man. Hey, fine. Lie to them. Use protection all the time, gents. Use protection. Don't go in raw. They're going to want you to go in raw. All these birds, they want to get you hooked. All right, another little baby. Another little... Another little baby running around and carrying on and shit on the ground or whatever, you know, rubbing shit all over the fucking couch or whatever with its hands down its nappies running around in its uh, commission house that you'll be stuck in if you go and do that, you know, doing that with a, with a single mum with four kids. That's what they want. So be careful. Yeah, go, do what you want, but be careful and also be wary that they are, a lot of them are mentally unstable, guys. So the moment that they sniff something's up and if you're doing that sort of thing, you are going to have um, a pretty hard time on your hands. That can be absolutely crazy. So <laughs> without further ado, guys, I'm going to shut it down there. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you haven't uh, subscribed, please subscribe and like and comment. Share your experiences and your thoughts on my commentary. Thanks for watching, gents.